Welcome back guys, a few people asked me if I can show the combo line for Invincible Full Armor Master. So for those of you who do not know, this is unaffected by other card effects, but can also be destroyed by battle still. And if you use the combo, I will show you now, it cannot be destroyed by battle anymore. So it can only be destroyed by Kaijus or by, for example, linking it away via the Underworld Goddess of the Closed Worlds. Shout out to my man Kanak Gaming, link is in the description, who originally invented this combo line. So this combo line is uh, his combo line and this is also his deck list. So shout out to the guy. Mm, I I have not invented this myself. It's a cool channel, go check him out. So what is important in this deck list? This is the same deck list I showed you in the first Blackwing video. What you need for the combo, uh, special cards you need that are not in every Blackwing list. You need your Orochi, this is important. You also need at least one Bian because Bian is the thing that makes a full armor master indestructible. It says a synchro monster that used this card as synchro material cannot be destroyed by battle. So this is mandatory, but you no, need only one but there are two in this deck for consistency reasons then what you need is the trap card um, you need one no thang but this basically in every list then you need one uh, evil of the yangzing yazi you need one black wing silver wind and obviously you need your full armor master um, you need more cards than this for example your simone or your shamal or your zephyros or your sudri but these are cards that are basically in every list so uh, it's not important to mention them but the other cards are special and not in every list so you do not need your Orochi in every list but you need him here I will show you how the combo works in a moment so you will end up on your indestructible full armor master and two black winged assault dragons I will first show you the combo when you have your um, Bian already in hand which then if you already if you also have the Simone you can simply uh, with a few clicks summon this guy it's super easy but if you do not have this in hand which is most of the times then I will show you the full combo that you can do. Note here, if you're thinking about what is the best thing to do, should I summon three Black Winged Soul Dragon like I showed you in the first video? Should I go for the Kali Yuga variant which I showed you in the last video? Or should I go Indestructible Full Armor Master? Then let me just say, I think Kali Yuga is by far the strongest version. Kali Yuga is basically auto win if you get the combo of um, the, having an Indestructible for Armor Master is nice. But I think, um, for example, Full Armor Master is an auto win against 300 Reese because they cannot out him. You don't need him to be indestructible for that. And of course, Telemans can destroy this card via battle. And if they can't destroy him, that's quite nice. Though the problem with Telemans is then that they can reach, they can shuffle their resources back into the deck. So if you play the indestructible for Armor Master, it may come to the point that you have to deck out your opponent. And in the case of Telemans, I think you will deck out first. So I'm not quite sure if this is the best way to go. But it's a fun version. Try it out and without further. I do I will show you now the version with Bian in hand and then the version if you have not Bian in hand. So guys let's look at an easy uh, version uh, that you can reach the full armor master with. This needs you to have your uh, um, your B unearthed of Yang Zing already in hand so you can normal summon him. So if you have uh, this situation then it's pretty easy to get to full armor master you just need this uh, the black wing simone and your bian in your starting hand like we had it here then you can use your black wing simone and the whirlwind to search for your oroshi then you just normal summon your bian special summon your oroshi and then it can st uh, you can go into the full armor master and now because we have made him uh, with the Bian, he is indestructible as Bian says here in uh, the bottom of the text. A synchro monster that used this card as a synchro material cannot be destroyed by battle. So this is the easy option, but now I will show you the option. Uh, if you do not have the Bian in hand, then you have to basically make a full combo to get to the same outcome that you have here. Uh, so let's look at this situation. So guys, let's look at the full combo. Note here that we want to search Orochi later on in the combo. We already have him, but I will mention the point at which you will normally search Orochi. So you need your Simone as always. Basically, you're going to discard the Vata, um, placing the Black Whirlwind and then normal summoning the Simone. This activates the Black Whirlwind, which is not once per turn. To search a Blackwing card, we are searching Zudri. This is nothing special here. We then normal summon the Zudri. Activating Zuri first to search a card and activating Black Whirlwind, which is not once per turn. Second to search another card, 
This is your basic line that you go into with every combo that is Blackwing. You're going to search your Vata, nothing special here, and also going to search your Shamal. Shamal, of course, is able to now, via its effect, um, place your Black Feather Whirlwind on the field, which, if you already have it, you don't need Shamal. Special summon the Vata. Vata is the core card in the combo. Activate Vata. We are going to send Zephyros, and now you can decide this is a negation that you can use yourself, and this helps you play through negations. So we are going to send Hamatan. It does not matter. You can send any one of them for the combo. It's not relevant. Black Twin Dragon on the field. We are going to activate Black Feather Whirlwind, resetting our Vata to the field. Now we can activate our Zephyros to bounce back our Black Feather Whirlwind. Thereby, we are able to activate this once again, because now we can activate it again, though it is once per turn. What we want to do now is go into No Thang with your Vata, and uh, for example, your Zudri No Thang allows us an additional normal summon and also triggers our Shamal in the grave, which now we can use this. At first, we will use the Black Feather Whirlwind again to once again resummon our Vata. We need him once more because he is a synchro, a tuner, and we will activate the Shamal because Shamal will give us the card back that we want to use for our normal summon, which is Zudri. So note here, because of no thang, we can make an additional normal summon, and of course, this will search again, and the black wound will also search again, so we will get two additional cards. Place your Vata here, it doesn't really matter where you place him, then you normal summon your Zudri. Zudri going first chain link, Wellwind going second chain link, though if our opponent already had halfness, he would have had options to activate it. You are going uh, to add, at this point, you would add your Oroshi. We already have Oroshi, but note this is important. At this point, you will add Oroshi, okay? We are going to add, for example, the Shanga now. We don't need it, we already have Oroshi. You need to search Oroshi with the Black Feather Whirlwind at this point, okay? And then you're going to add the trap with your Zudri. What we are going to do next is make the Borea Storm with uh, your Vata and one of your level 4s. Rhea Storm is then able on summon to send uh, a Blackwing Monster to the graveyard. We are going to send Steam the Cloak, and now this becomes level 3. What we can do now is activate Steam the Cloak. We are going to tribute the Blackwing Dragon, thereby summoning Steam the Cloak to our field. What we can do now is go into our Yazi. We will use, um, it doesn't really matter, you can use Steam the Cloak, or it, it does matter, you have to use Steam the Cloak. Sorry, don't use the Borea Storm, use Steam the Cloak. and your Zephyros summoning the Yazi because now we will get the token from Steam the Cloak. There it is. It's a level 1 token that is not a tuner. And now we have the Yazi on field. And Yazi has the effect when this card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one worm monster from your deck in defense position. So we are going to use this to special summon our Bian, which we need to make our armor master indestructible and if your opponent has a card on the field already you can then destroy the card and yazi but of course we are in the first turn so there is no card what we'll do now is activate the trap card so we, we we need the trap card because we cannot destroy an opponent's card okay this is why we need the trap card now you want to use your shamal and another level four use the zudri so we have level eight this allows us to summon our uh, blackwing silverwind and on uh, wait let me summon this. And now Blackwing Silverwind can be triggered uh, on summon to destroy two cards on the field. We want to destroy our own Yazi and not more. Yazi now activates in the graveyard as I already read to you to summon our Bian. So this is where we have a Bian now. So as you can see, we now are very close to be able to summoning our full armor master on the field. Make a black winged a soul dragon via this card, uh, this card, and uh, this card now. This is your first of two black winged soul dragons for the combo. And now this is where Oroshi comes in. Special summon the guy because it's a tuner. And now we can go into our undestructible full armor master. This one, this one, and the Bian. Always choose the Bian. This is important. Makes your indestructible full armor master. So this card now can not be or is unaffected by opponent's cards and cannot be destroyed by battle. Then you can, for the finishing touch, banish these two cards here to make another Black-Winged Soul Dragon. Obviously, we can now set our call by the Grave um, and yeah, pass our turn over, and we have the indestructible full armor master with only the Simone and one card to banish in hand.